back to Walden's world. Uh, we're gonna work on this snorting, snorting, norton. <coughs> Oops. Um, we're gonna pull the motor off and try and separate it from the transmission. So, uh, as per the manual, it says go ahead and just pull these three uh, footrests off, uh, bolts, and we can let this thing hang, it said, with the cable. Um, and then we've got a mounting bolt here and one in the middle. Um, and then this is supposed to be filled with fluid. So we'll find out what happens after that. So, got a half inch. On this old bike, because I'm not familiar with it, i um, been using plastic baggies, which is very smart. And I do have the manual too. All right. So we've got that out of this and this to get off. Um, that one, we definitely need to find a screwdriver that'll fit real snug on there. Let's see here. So if I've got a pan under here, um, my pan does have a hole in the side of it, so hopefully this don't leak real, real bad. And I'm going to get another plastic baggie. I've got a magic marker in the house. I should be marking each one of these. And if this thing still had fluid in it. May be leaking any time now. I see something coming out of there. Unfortunately, it looks like water. Yeah. And that's the guy's electronics. So, I wonder if he's got those spare parts. Clutch, probably not in good shape we'll have to get a hold of them because uh, we'll see how that goes that whole thing must have been immersed in water or turned around in water but there's no oil or lube at all in this motor none Be lucky and have a whole lot of surface rust. All right, put that in there with that. Um, make sure behind your little stator you've got some spacers. Don't forget those. And so we got this hanging down. It should come out of here somewhere. It goes out of there and up through the front. Our main main power. That's what came out. Put our parts in there. Cover. This unscrews the regular way. Threaded bolt with the washer behind it. Alright. Go get the book and see what I need to do to get these off here. Um, if I need a puller or not. Alright, there's a little sir clip here. You can take it, get in there and I just grabbed it like that and popped it. Hopefully she'll come out pretty easy after that. There's a push rod in there too. Right there.
rod in here. I'm going to pull it out so I don't lose it. Looks like it goes either direction. This clutch stuff will come out now. Got the metal ring with the bevel on the outside. And the metal. Actually, that's fiber. It don't even look bad. Metal, fiber. Keep all that. Last one's fiber. First one's fiber. <coughs> Stick that on that. PA, what we call a Norton tool. I had to shave that down to get that off. I'm gonna do the lube on there. Some lube in there. And I think. pop right off once she gets warm enough. Stock it in there. Pull it the rest of the way off. Now this is keyed so don't lose your key out of here. What do you want to do? Key stuck in there it appears to be. Ooh that sucker's a big raffle. Gotta get that key out first. that off. Nut stuck in there. If you got that happen, screw it back on. Wiggle your socket. And supposedly it'll come back off. Went down to the hardware store and got me some bolts. I'm going to have to heat this thing up because it's on there pretty good. This will come right off already. Getting warmed up. Now let's see if she'll come good and off. I think she's moving. I put that nut back on there and that way I wouldn't tear up the ends of my threads. Supposed to do it at the same time so you don't kink the chain. She is about to be off. My buddy's supposed to bring me by some cool English tools tomorrow. I probably need them to get this thing back together. That might be warm. Ooh, yeah. Definitely warm. Not sure how hot this is, so I'm gonna stick a screwdriver there. It's still pretty warm. I had a washer behind it. That is keyed also. gonna leave that screwdriver in there for now and now we've got a spacer there uh, two washers looks like so we need to get these off and this thing may come off after that if these keepers been out of the way of what I can see We are deprived of light right now. Now what? Is that all the 
Just holding her on? I believe so. Found the motor, hey. All right, so we got all the timing gear and all that taken off. Um, now we need to pull the bottom part out and we look like we probably got one, two, three bolts, four, five bolts holding that motor on. Uh, and hopefully that'll, that'll just slide on out real easy like, right? I guess we'll just pull this one off too and all three of them and I think it'll come out. Otherwise it ain't coming straight up. But that'll be the next video. So, uh...